Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis, and in today's video, I'm going to be drawing. Uh. Give me a second. Uh. Let me. Ooh. Ooh. Um. I'm going to be drawing this. It kind of looks like in bad quality because the the moment that I snapped the picture was kind of in motion, in which case it uh, looked a little blurred. But um, if you think about it, okay, in the in the Hunter X Hunter world, Gon and Kilawa, when they first ran into Chimera Ant, which would have been this one, right? They had trouble with it. And then Kite says, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, your moves were good. All you need is more battle, ex more experience, more battle experience. I don't understand. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't bode to be true because it, like, you actually have to practice in getting better in order to get better. You can't just... Sorry, my hands were my hand was uh my arm was on my table and I was moving my arms while I was saying that so the camera was shaking. But you have to practice to get better at something in order to get better. So the fact that they would all they would need is experience in battle that wouldn't make them able to fight somebody in, stronger than him. Like if, if you think of okay, it was 2v1, they both were fighting him, and the fact is, they couldn't lay a finger on him, they couldn't hit him with anything, right? Until Kilua threw let uh, lightning at him, and then Gon uh, did his John Jonkin. So, if that hadn't happened, they literally wouldn't have been able to touch this guy. So, I don't think uh, experience would give them more power in order to be able to fight somebody or for one like him to somebody like him with nin you know but like the longer this arc goes on they get stronger like they get stronger the next uh batch of chimera ants they uh they fight it was uh it was gone kilua kite and they were getting ready to fight uh some uh, like abundance of chimera ants and they were actually Kilua fought this like rhino dude and he beat him and then gone crushed like a, a like a roly uh roly dude and they won easy right but the thing is those guy those chimera ants should be strong they're not like they're he's not a commander he's not like a leader he doesn't lead his own group He's under, uh, um, wait, he's under, what's that dude's name? The, the, the one that I drew a while back, he's under that dude. So if he's under somebody, he has an officer above him, which means all those guys that Gon and Kilua fought would be on the same level as this dude. And they were able to beat him easily. So I, like, I don't think experience would give them strength, you know? I know you you could say that oh they just get stronger after every fight but I don't I don't think that's the case like the uh they fought that lions uh dude they fought the girl that had the poison and then the dude with a bunch of arms those dudes should be on the same level as him but they weren't Gon and Kilua just wiped them out which makes no sense to me if they couldn't touch him they shouldn't have been able like if they couldn't touch him together they shouldn't have been able to touch those guys if I'm honest, like they, they shouldn't have been able to touch them at all. They shouldn't be able to touch any chi uh, chimera ant at all until they got stronger. I understand maybe after they came back, like after they lost to Knuckle and Shoot, they should have uh, they should have gotten stronger after that because the reason for that would be uh, Bisky trained them to get stronger. So that would explain how they got stronger the second time. But like there should be no strength gained. Unless they, like, practice. I mean, we could say they practice off-screen, but come on now. Realistically, like, Gon and Kilo are good. They're really good learners, right? But, like, like, battle experience doesn't equate to strength. 
if Gil if uh Gon knows how to fight, doesn't mean he's gonna be able to beat Kilua. I mean not Kilua, uh Hisuka. Like that does that's just not what it is, you know? Gon knew like Gon Ki uh Kilua knows how to fight. He has a bunch of experience. So the fact that Kite said you need more experience, I could see if he said that to Gon, but he said it to both of them. Kilawa, if anything, Kilawa has the most experience out of uh, Gon in them because Kilawa was, Kilawa was an assassin. He was like a full-on assassin at a very young age and was successful in the matter. In fact, he was so successful, his family thought that he would be the best eventually. So, with that, like, with that statement being thrown on him, he would have had to have a lot of experience. So, I don't see why Kite would have said, you guys need more experience, your moves are good, but you need more experience. And he didn't, like, teach them any, like, he didn't teach them any new nin tricks or anything like that. He didn't be like, hey, yo, guys, I got a, I got a trick for you, do this every day for the next week and you will get abundantly strong. Like, no, he didn't do anything like that. He just they just walked around looking for the area the next batch they've ended up fighting kilo will go and beat next batch kilo will go and beat like like they just be like able to beat like continuously beat people after they lo like essentially lost to this dude that makes no sense makes no sense and this dude did not have nin so it, it doesn't make any sense why they would be able to beat anybody after him but that's my rant Tell me what you think in the comments. Let's get into this.
finished with um, the Elite Rabot. No, I'm kidding. But uh, I am finishing. He is uh, he's an extremely strong. Okay, about what I said earlier, I didn't change my mind, but one the only reason. I might say that he would be strong would be if somebody told me that this Chimera Ant is on a different level than the other ones. So, like the fodder tier, technically he's fodder. Technically. In the technical sense, because he is not a captain leader, he is almost fodder tier like that is that is what it equates to because the captains are supposed to be the ones that are for instance they're the ones that can see the aura right he couldn't see the aura around uh gon and kilua he just knew that they got stronger the captains can actually see the aura and that's been stated based on the scorpion girl and the spider so they could see the aura so, and they said that a uh, higher level, I'm pretty sure the, the Scorpion girl said that higher level people can see the aura. Or like, uh, she said something along the lines of captains can see the aura. So, um, he couldn't see the aura, so he's not on their level, which entails means that he is below them. And those are the only ones that the... The Nin users should have trouble with, realistically, because all of the Chimera ants are pretty much animals mixed with a certain type of human. So if you take like 17 fish, it'll have the strength of fish. If you take 17 fish and a human, it'll have 17, uh, 17 fish and a human strength. With that one would technically be stronger than the one with um than the one with the um, just the seventeen fish. So naturally, I can assume that regardless of who they are, if they don't have Nin, they shouldn't be on the same level. And if they can't see Nin, nor could they use Nin, then they shouldn't be on the same level they have not like i don't know if they would i would say that they ha been confirmed to have nin like kite said uh i don't know if he I, I forget it did he say that oh they can use uh zetsu or did he say oh they can sneak up oh so they can hide those they, they hide their presence that's what he said and before gon knew how to use nin he was able to hide his presence he hid it from hisoka and that was uh based on like animal like animal presence gone is supposed to be like an animal like a wild child uh so naturally we assumed that he was able to see because he had that like you know that personality of being uh, uh, uh out in the wild so they may be able to hide their presence, but they can't use Nin. They can't use Nin. They have different areas of like certain traits, but they don't have Nin. So Gon and Kilua using Nin should be able to beat them easily, but that's not the case. So he's not a captain, so he shouldn't be able to stand a chance against them. But he was able to. I'm assuming that it ended up getting retconned in the story the longer Kilo and Gon goes on and they get stronger somehow, randomly, just by walking. But, um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. And, uh, peace, love, thanks for watching.